stunning international cast come together in Italian director Giuseppe Capitondi's first English language film, The Burnt Orange Heresy. Danish actor Claes Bang plays James Figueres, an art critic giving poorly paid art lectures to tourists in Milan. James, we learn, has a slightly murky past. Attending his latest lecture is Berenice Hollis, played by the Australian actress Elizabeth Debicki. No sooner do they meet than they end up in bed and verbally jousting with one another. She says she's from a small town outside Duluth, Minnesota, but you're never sure who's telling the truth. James has shown he's an expert at lying. At a call from art dealer Joseph Cassidy, Mick Jagger, they visit his beautiful villa on the shores of Lake Como, where Joseph has a proposition for James. Joseph has an artist resident on his property, one Jerome Debney, a reclusive man whose work was destroyed by a fire in his home in France many years ago. Joseph promises James an interview with Debney on the condition that he get, by fair means or foul, one of Debney's paintings. I'd value a Debney, James. And I'd like you to procure one for me. When Debney appears, the Canadian actor Donald Sutherland in fine form, he proves elusive, but invites James and Berenice to his studio residence, tucked away in the garden for a meal that evening after going for a boat trip on the lake. James declines the boat trip, but Berenice accompanies Debney, and they bond as she reveals something of her shadowy past. And that evening, Debney has secrets of his own, which infuriate James. The film's based on a 1971 novel by Charles Williford, and Capitondi's transplanting the novel from the Everglades to Italy works beautifully. It's immaculately directed, beautifully shot by David Ongaro, and superbly acted by the four at the centre of this film noir. Elizabeth Debicki is sublime as Berenice, so finely tuned to her role. Place Bang is suitably saturnine as James, and Mick Jagger is a delight as Joseph. If there is a flaw in the film, it is in one of the later scenes where a certain incredulity creeps in. But for the most part, this is an extremely satisfying film experience. Four stars. You know what we need to do. Most people are not what you'd expect. You know, don't you? They want the truth. 